Hey Novi, Mr. White here. I wanted to let you know about a really exciting Smash Bros. tournament the Games Club is hosting on Tuesday, May 23rd, after school in the Media Center Forum. We're going to be there from 3 until it ends, which will probably be a little bit after 5 p.m. If you're interested in playing, I recommend you bring your own controller, and an entry fee is $10. We're going to have some of the proceeds go to Games Club, but we're also going to have our proceeds go to a charity called Gamers Outreach, which helps provide students and or little kids in long-term hospital stays with games to sort of make their experience a little bit better. So come play, show what you got, and see if you can be the best gamer and best Smash Bros. player at Novi High School while also helping out for a good cause. Thanks. See you there. The girls across team went up against Plymouth on Monday. They won 8-7. to seven. Great job, Wildcats. All right, guys, I'm back with another club interview, but this time it's one that's not sponsored by Novi High School. It's actually outside of it. And this is the Novi Archery Team. So I'm here with Ihan, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. So, Ihan, what exactly is the archery team? What do you do? Well, every Friday from 6 to 7, we shoot roughly around 45 to 60 arrows. Yes, I'm practicing. And uh, we just get prepared for a big competition at the end of the season. So, yeah. All right, and one more thing. How many people are in this archery team? I'll say we have around 10 to 15 people, but we would love to have more people join us for next year. So how can people look into this? Where can they find information to sign up for next year? Uh, for information, we should at Riley Archery Range. And uh, yeah, you can just search CSI Novi, and you can just find all the information there usually. All right, thank you. Yeah. Arius interviewed our Cat Side News staff for us to appreciate some of our teachers for Teacher Appreciation Week. She has been a positive influence in my life. For the great conversations and just for being such great teachers to me. For being very personable teachers. Because of her patience and the time that she spends helping me in class. For always taking your time out during AA to talk to us. For uh, always bringing a smile to my face. I love you and I love your class. For helping me out so much through AP Euro last year and being one of the nicest people I've ever met. In addition to hosting Game Club, for helping me through a few self-confidence issues I had and literally almost dragging me to the finish of AP Calc, to be absolutely honest. I know this is your first year of teaching IB and you did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. You're amazing for just, just being such a nice person. I really appreciate it. Thank you. For being such an entertaining, funny teacher, for putting together the National Economics Challenge. For always being really understanding. For being such fun teachers. Because he makes the class fun every day. He always claps when I come on screen, and uh, it's generally a good time, a place where I can relax while still doing work. Because he always gives us uh, snacks, and he's really fun. For being wonderful mock trial advisors because uh, I've probably gotten the most close to him throughout all my years of high school. My freshman year, he was the basketball coach and when I was the team manager. Really cool, chill guy. Uh, he's just an easygoing dude. Love him. Uh, he also wrote my teacher recommendation for Michigan, so yeah, I give respect to that. So thank you, teachers, for everything you do. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Welcome to Career Conversations. Each episode will take a deep dive into a different profession to help you navigate the ever-evolving job market. So buckle up and get ready to be inspired, because this is Career Conversations. Hello, my name is Adele Vizcaris. Um, I work for ITC. We are the nation's leading electric transmission provider. We own, maintain, and operate high-voltage transmission towers and lines. We are in seven states in the Midwest and headquartered right here in Novi, Michigan. I work in the business strategy team. I'm a senior area manager for local government and community affairs. To build electric transmission, uh, we require um, 
various skill sets and different positions from um, information technology to accounting to business strategy and of course electrical engineering and uh, just like any other uh, corporation in order to um, to to perform our projects uh, we also require uh, help from um, outside uh, consultants and some of our contractors so for those individuals that may not take a career path, there are also opportunities in skilled trades as well. The outlook is good because we are seeing um, a lot of uh, retirements with fossil fuels and renewable energy coming online. 2021, energy jobs grew 4% from 2020. And then um, the energy sector added more than 300,000 jobs. And what kinds of training and development programs are available? ITC provides many opportunities for our employees, um, professional uh, development opportunities. Also, I have been uh, fortunate to uh, utilize our tuition assistance program as well. And I have had the opportunity after I graduated college to go back to school and pursue uh, higher education degrees. The tuition assistance uh, program is available to all employees. So all employees who are seeking a professional degree, uh, starting with an even undergraduate degree, uh, they can take advantage of our tuition assistance program where ITC will help pay for your school. We have an internship program and a co-op program, and that's how I started. I started through the internship program. So once they're in college, I would, I would encourage them to look at our job postings. Uh, we will we'll have many internship positions open, that is a really great opportunity to get a feel for what it would be like to work at ITC. And even for myself, when I started working as an intern, it was a hands-on experience. And it was a wonderful uh, way to kind of see this is what it would be like to work at ITC. So I would encourage students to think, you know, proactively when they go to college, um, as soon as they're able to, to seek an uh, internship opportunity. My advice uh, for the Nova High School students would be please consider careers in energy because for me, it was an afterthought, but now I make sure to let everybody know that please look at energy industry jobs because it, they're just really wonderful and fulfilling and there is a high demand for jobs in this industry. Hey Novi, there's one more episode left of the Cat's Eye News for the 2022-2023 series, so stay tuned to the finale for your favorite moments. Let's go!